How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and I'm super, super excited. This is the tiny boy from Hobby King. It's the first printer I've had here in Sydney since I've moved back. And basically I ordered it as soon as they came online. Massive thanks to Chuck for pointing them out to me that they were back in stock. So basically the tiny boy was, in, was at Hobby King for uh, a little while, like a couple of months, quite a while ago and they stopped selling them. A lot of people thought they were just discontinued, but Chuck noticed that the parts were still being kept in stock. And then one of his subscribers pointed out that they were back with a few improvements. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, take my money to Hobby King. And a few days later, it arrived. So here we have it. Let's unbox the tiny boy from Hobby King. Right, so I got my trusty knife. Let's whack it open. It's also worth noting that this came via DHL and the first delivery I was downstairs and I got an SMS saying you know you've missed the you've missed the delivery and I was like what you what so I ran to the front door and there was a note saying sorry we missed you it was like you didn't you didn't even ring the bell you didn't even knock on the door you just ran off so I got really pissed off and I, I called up DHL's customer service and to my surprise, I got, got through to someone within 30 seconds of waiting and she was really nice and she organized a re-delivery and I was like, you know, why didn't he ring the bell? And she tried to contact him, of course he didn't answer. But uh, yeah, organized a re-delivery and I gave them permission to leave it on my doorstep and 7 o'clock this morning, 7 a.m., it turned up. So that's pretty good service. Well done, DHL. I'm actually quite impressed. So we've got some packing, nothing too special there. <laughs> it's worth noting, let's put the box over there, how light that is, look, look, it's, <laughs> you couldn't do that with a Cubicon, could you? Alrighty, so really well packed, lots of bubble wrap, uh, cool, so it's another box in a box, awesome, so top marks of hobby thing for packing it properly, I always appreciate more than is usually required bubble wrap, always more is always better. And there we have it. The Fabricator Mini, otherwise known as the Tiny Boy, which I keep referring it to. So Hobby King's rebranded it to the Fabricator Mini, it is the same machine. Um, just their version of it. So I got the Australian version, 230 volts. Is an Australian voltage 240 volts? Whatever. <laughs> cool. So let's see what's inside. Let's not slice my hand open. <laughs> so. I just assumed this wouldn't come with any filament. I have my own PLA filament, 1.75. So if you're ordering this from Hobby King, order some filament. Because that's what they provide to you. <laughs> what is the point of that? It's like two feet of PLA. The... <laughs> you're not gonna be doing much printing with that, I'm afraid. Oh well, it was cheap. It is the cheapest ready-to-run printer I know of on the market today. So, fair enough. Uh, by the time I got it into Australia, it cost me about $320 Australian delivered. So, you know, Australian dollar is shocking, but that's still pretty good. Okay, All right, so we got some nice heavy-duty backing foam. Oh, it's so small. That is so adorable. Okay, so we've got the foam. Uh, this would be... What's this? Is that power supply? Um, something. Oh, little feet. Little feet. And the printer. So let's carefully pull out. It is completely assembled, although it looks, it does resemble a kit. But it's completely assembled. Careful. 
carefully put the box aside. Here we go. Alrighty, so very well packed. Top marks to Hobby King for that. I'm really quite impressed. Uh, really nice custom, custom machine foam. And it appears that it's arrived in one piece. Awesome. The extruder's quite nice. The, uh, the extruder's completely aluminium. No plastic crap there. Nice big pinion gear to drive forwards the filament. And it's sort of a Bowden style uh, extruder. It's so small, I don't want to break it. I went with orange because orange prints faster. <laughs> but then I sort of regretted it instantly because uh, Chuck said you can get better footage from the prints with the clear version. But, oh well. I've got my orange one. At least it looks different to Chuck's one. And that, my friends, is the Fabricator Mini. So there you have it, guys. That's the unboxing of the Fabricator Mini or the uh, Tiny Boy 3D printer. I am super impressed with how well it was packed from Hobby King. Top marks for that. It came all the way from Hong Kong with no issues at all. Considering it's made from fragile 3mm acrylic, there's no damage. It's flawless and it's been assembled nicely. All I need to do now is have a play with it and do a review. But I just wanted to say thank you to you guys. You know, Maker's Muse has now got over 10,000 subscribers. It's absolutely awesome. Thank you to every single one of you for watching my videos. And without you doing so, I wouldn't be able to afford printers like this to show you and review and learn and tinker and all those sort of good things that I hugely enjoy showing you and, and doing. Uh, it wouldn't be at all possible without your support. And also, thank you so much to you guys doing the anonymous YouTube donations. One of you guys did 20 bucks. Whoever you are, thank you so much. It means so much to me. It helps a great deal and helps me bring you awesome content like this. So look forward to a really in-depth Fabricator Mini review coming very shortly. I'm going to absolutely thrash this thing, find out what it's good at, what it's bad at, how it works, you know, every single bit of information you'll need to make an informed decision. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more 3D printing content on Maker's Muse, feel free to subscribe. You know, it helps me out a massive amount and look forward to seeing you again soon here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later, dudes. Bye.